Welcome little scientists. Today we start learning about the life cycle of a mosquito. If you haven't checked out any of our other life cycle videos, be sure to. We've covered lots of them this year. So today, Mosquitoes, written by Leo Statz. Mosquitoes are insects. A group of them is known as a swarm. There are more than 3,000 known species of mosquitoes. Mosquitoes have two wings and six legs. They have two antennae and two eyes. All insects have three body parts, a head, a thorax, and an abdomen. Mosquitoes also have three main body parts. They have a head, thorax, and abdomen. Mosquitoes can be found almost anywhere on Earth. They often live near ponds and lakes. Mosquitoes are food for many other animals and insects. All mosquitoes eat plant juices and nectar. Only female mosquitoes drink blood. So if you get bitten by a mosquito, it was a female. A mosquito has a special mouth part that looks like a straw. It bites humans and animals to drink their blood. Female mosquitoes lay their eggs on the surface of water. It can take about two weeks for the eggs to become adult mosquitoes. Mosquitoes can live between two weeks and six months. A mosquito is shorter than a penny. A mosquito is lighter than a quarter. Now, let's do an activity together. All right, little scientists, let's take out our drawings of mosquitoes. You can either use the one that I included in your activity packet this week, or you can draw your own. We're going to go over the body parts of a mosquito. And as you know, that an insect has three parts, the head, the thorax, and the abdomen. So three separate parts. We're gonna start at the top at the head and look at the parts there first. So first you can color in the antennae and there are two antennae. Next, let's find the eyes. They have two, mosquitoes have two compound eyes that are very large. Then, let's find the palps. These are organs that are between the antennae and they sense odor, so they sense the smells for the mosquito. They're very small. Next is the proboscis, just like a butterfly, right? A butterfly has a proboscis. So the female proboscis, this mouthpiece pierces the skin of a person or animal and sucks out the blood, because remember, only females suck out the blood. The male's proboscis is not strong enough to pierce the skin, and like we've already read, the males do not drink blood. Both female and male mosquitoes use the proboscis to feed on flower nectar and fruit juices as well. Now, let's move on to the thorax. The thorax is connected to the head. The wings and legs are connected to the thorax. The halter, which is right here on either side, 
is a wing-like organ that's used for steering while flying. So those little things help the mosquito to steer while they're flying in the air. And then, of course, the wings. And the wings are used for flying, and there are two of them. Next, we'll look at the leg. Mosquitoes have six legs, just like other insects. So that's one, two, three, four, five, and six. Now, just like our legs, the upper part of the leg, this part, is called the femur. So each leg has a femur. I'm coloring the femur in orange. Then the middle part of the leg is called the tibia. We also have a tibia on our bones. And then the tarsus is the end of the leg and that helps mosquitoes to stand and walk on water. So mosquitoes' legs are made up of three part. This color, this part I'm coloring pink is called the tarsus. And there's the word tarsus. Now, Moving on to the abdomen. The abdomen connects to the thorax and the th abdomen is the stomach and also the reproductive system and part of the respiratory system. So this is where you'll find the eggs on a female mosquito, the sperm on a male mosquito and part of how they breathe. So here is the genitalia. This is where it's either female or male mosquito. So this is where the genitalia is and this is where the eggs are released from the female. Have fun coloring in your mosquito and learning its parts. And remember to join us again for another lesson real soon. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up.